Hi, I'm Alex Nan, the Global Product and Channel Marketing Manager. And in the next few minutes, I would like to show you um, all the advantages of the iTouch X1 compared with an average IFP. So let's start first, first with Android 11. We already touched that one. Uh, if you look at the regular or the average product in the market, they're still on Android 8, um, where we come with an uh, Android 11 and much more important with an octa-core CPU with eight gigabyte of RAM, what will allow you uh, to do all your work up to three times faster than uh, you are used to do. So open applications, websites, uh, or videos, whatever, this will run uh, as fast as lightning. Another big uh, advantage uh, or improvement is the, the touch height. So we were able to improve the infrared touch technology um, with a touch height, height uh, up to 1.5 uh, millimeters. And if we look at the average panel, we see that the touch height uh, goes uh, or starts at 2.5 millimeter up to uh, even four millimeters. This is a little technical, I know, uh, but on the next slide, you will see what makes the difference. And that's of course in the writing experience. The lower the touch height, the better the writing experience, the nicer you can write on an IFP. Another big improvement is the Android GPU. So the graphical card of the Android has been improved. So now we are on 4K uh, also on the Android, not only with inputs on 4K, but also on the Android. And of course, that will be uh, visible on uh, images in this webinar. It's perhaps not that good, uh, the visibility or the difference, but if you would put the two pan channel panels, excuse me, next to each other, then you will see uh, a huge difference uh, in videos and pictures, but also in the writing, because you will have four times more pixels uh, in the Android environment. Whatever you have uh, been writing will be much more clear than uh, with a full HD Android environment. A next huge differentiator is of course the optical uh, bonding. So in the, with the optical bonding, was, what does it mean? Um, in this case, with the X1, we have been able to, uh, uh, to stick or to bond the, the glass to the LCD uh, with the resin layer. And the result is that also the thickness of the glass has been reduced as the glass is, uh, is protected or reinforced by the LCD. If you look at the regular or average IFP in the market with an air gap, um, and of course also with thicker glass because of security, uh, minimum of four millimeters. So that means that, that the, the, the distance between the LCD panel and your finger will be always more than uh, four millimeters uh, with the average IFP. Also here, a little technical, uh, but what's in it for the user, uh, the touch and writing experience. When you touch or write on the X1, you will, you will notice that the action happens exactly where you touch or write with the pen. So there also a huge, huge difference. Um, another advantage of the optical bonding is um, that uh, I explained that the glass is bonded to the LCD, so the glass cannot bend and consequently it can't uh, break. And the last uh, advantage of uh, optical bonding is the visibility. So with, with, uh, because the glass is thinner, there is no air in between, um, there is, will be a very limited reflection of light and also the, the quality of the image will be not reduced because of air or thicker glass. So that's of course the case with the average IFP where you see that uh, because of the air and the thicker glass, there will be more uh, um, reflection and also the vis visibility or the quality or image quality will be reduced because of the uh, air gap and the glass. And of course, this results then in uh, a better image quality uh, if you show pictures, videos, whatever. And the last uh, very important advantage of the optical uh, uh, bonding is the viewing angle. So all IFPs in the market, they have uh, a viewing angle of 178 degrees. 
but with optical bonding device you will notice that when you're in a sharp angle next to the display uh, the image will also remain sharp and then a last very important uh, improvement with the x1 uh, we were able to integrate a usb hub um, and that results in a one cable connection so you walk into the room your laptop and take advantage of sound image touch uh, and the camera so that's the new item and uh, the camera that is connected to display will also be guided to that one cable connection and the second new uh, item is the the power of 60 watt so um, that's also um, a game changer um, that we improved also the the power so if you look at the average panels in the market um, without USB-C where you need to connect HDMI cable for sound and image, USB cable for touch, USB cable for camera and then if you're running out of juice you even need, need your power cable uh, to connect uh, your laptop. So all those four cables can be replaced by one cable.